Welcome back friends! Mark Piotr here. Today we are going to talk about a very important subject for all you saxophone players and that is how to play better in tune. Item number one. Temperature. If the metal of your saxophone is cool to the touch, your low notes are going to be flat. You're going to think, oh gee, my high notes are sharp, or gee, my low notes are flat. Both are true. As the metal gets warmer from your exhale, it's going to warm up the top half of your saxophone first, meaning your high notes are going to be more true than your low notes which will still be flat until the entire saxophone gets warmed up. And now for item number two, the adjustment of the mouthpiece upon the neck. As you pull out the mouthpiece, the pitch goes lower because the instrument is getting longer. As you push it in, the instrument gets shorter, which means now your pitch is going to go higher. Most people stop right there and they think, oh, that's all I have to worry about. When I'm flat, I'll just push in a little bit. Oh, I'm sharp, I'll pull out a little bit. This is not a good way to play. As you've already discovered, it's like chasing a moving target. And now for item number three. Item number three is probably the most important because you have complete control over it. And that is your lip support. The embouchure support of the reed plays the biggest factor in your tuning. Most of the young people that I see that struggle with pitch play too pinched. They hold their mouth tight and it closes the gap and it makes the note go up sharp. <laughs> See how high that note is? If we just relax our jaw and lip a little bit, that note is going to go right in tune. So now I will demonstrate being too pinched and then adjusting it to become in tune. Item number four, which is volume level. As you play louder, the pitch is going to go down. And as you play softer, the pitch will go up. Now comes the most irritating, obnoxious part of this lesson. And that is, regarding item number three, how do you know how much is the right amount of, of lip support? This is a tenor sax mouthpiece. With just the mouthpiece, if you played this into the uh, tuner, it should be somewhere near a G sharp. Okay, it's going to sound really irritating. Let's give it a try. And now, here we go, step by step. Step number one, you warmed up your instrument. You warmed up the temperature of the metal by blowing into it generously. Step number two, put the mouthpiece deep into the cork of the neck, about a full inch, like that much. We might adjust this later. All right. When you play the mouthpiece and the neck together, it should come out between a G and an F sharp on your horn, which would be a concert F to E on the tuner. In fact, for me, it's almost exactly halfway between an F and an E when I, if I get it right. Okay, so that's going to be my starting point for lip support and how deep we put the mouthpiece onto the neck. 
And step number three, play several notes and watch the tuner. Also paying attention to, do you feel like you are lifting it to get in tune or do you feel like you are relaxing it to get in tune? Don't just play one note and think that everything is in tune. Try several. When you play these several notes to check your tuning, play at a mezzo forte, maybe a little bit louder than that. And on all four of those notes, I felt like I was relaxing more than what is comfortable for me to relax in order to get it in tune. Now I am going to repeat steps two and three until I get it right. I'm going to pull this out from the cork a little bit so that when I play, I don't have to loosen up my embouchure in an uncomfortable manner in order to be in tune. <laughs> My tuning is a lot better and I didn't feel like I was adjusting my armature very much to get it in tune. So I'm going to leave it here. After you have repeated steps two and three to get yourself as close as you can in tune, keep in mind now that while you play, loud you should be in tune because you've been tuning at a loud volume level. When you play softly, you are going to need to adjust because you don't want to get sharp, so you must relax a little bit for the quiet notes. And this is how to tune your saxophone. You tune it based on playing loud, and then you adjust your face to play quietly. I hope this video has been instructional. Leave comments or questions below, and I will try to help you out as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.